All right, guys, so let's get into managing our collections now. And the first thing I want to teach you guys how to do is creating collection sets. And basically, collection sets are just groups of collections that you organize under a collection set. And you see one right here, actually, with the smart collections that comes defaulted. All of these uh, smart collections underneath are actually grouped into the smart collection set, which is expandable and collapsible to, keep, to help you kind of keep everything organized. So to create a collection set, you can either right-click right here and say create collection set, or you can just click on the plus as well and say create collection set. And we're going to create two different collection sets. One is going to be, um, we're going to say editor rush requests, because that was one of the collections that we created earlier. And it's not going to belong to any sets. So I'm going to hit create. I'm going to create one more. And I'm going to say create collection set. This time, check this out. Because editor rush request right now is selected, when I go to create collection set, it's going to default to put that into the editor rush request set. So I don't want this in that set, actually. It's going to be its own set. And we're going to make this uh, the one bag shoots. I'm going to hit create again. OK, so now we have two different collection sets. And now what I can do is I can actually organize these, uh, these different collections into each of these collection sets. So I'm going to take both the one bag model shoot and the one bag solo shoot, select them both by holding shift and clicking on each. And I'm just going to click and drag into the one bag shoots. Now these become part of the one bag shoot set. I'm going to do the same thing with the undefined rush request. I'm going to click that and I'm going to drag it up to the editor rush requests. Okay, so now I have these nice little sets of my collections that just to help me keep everything organized. If I want to add a new collection, like let's say uh, our editor requires a few additional photos, and we'll go and select these right now. So maybe he wants these four photos for something, whatever his needs are. I'm going to hit create a new uh, collection set. Um, actually, sorry, create a new collection. We're going to create a new collection. And I'm going to put these right under the editor rush requests. And this is going to be, we'll just say, um, rush request uh, bag covers, because that's what these are. Include the selected photos and hit create. Now it'll automatically put that new collection right under this collection set. So collection sets are a great way to keep everything organized to basically maintain a, a nice structure in your collection so you can easily and quickly find whatever you need to find in your collections. All right, so the next thing I want to show you guys is how to rename collection sets or collections themselves. So all you got to do is click on the collection set, right click and hit rename, or for an actual collection, just again, right click and hit rename. It works similarly to how presets and everything else works. Um, so let's say that we don't like the name for this uh, rush request bag cover, so we want to rename it. We're going to say John's rush request because our editor's name is John. All right. I can hit rename, it'll automatically rename it. It's not going to remove any images or anything like that. I can do the same thing with collection sets as well. Now the next thing I want to show you guys is how to delete collections. If I decide at one point that I, I don't want these, uh, let's say I don't want the undefined rush request, the original one anymore, I can right click, I can click delete, and it's going to remove it from there. Again, deleting a collection is not deleting the images, it's just removing that collection. The images will still be in your catalog. Now, regarding smart collections, what if I have, now let's go down to these, uh, the one back shoots where we actually define the smart collections. What if I want to edit these smart collections? Let's say if I want to include additional rules or change the rules, I can do that at any time with a smart collection just by right clicking on it, hitting edit smart collection, and then on this list I can either remove or add additional rules. Let's say I want to add another rule, and that rule is going to be based on uh, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. It can be camera serial number, it can be whatever. You can add up to as many additional rules as you want. You can change the matching operator so it matches any, all, or none. I don't know why you'd want none unless you want to basically disable it. But uh, you can have it match any of the rules or you can have it match all. And then you can also remove those by just clicking the minus. So plus is going to help you add additional rules. Minus will minus out rules. And then just click save and it'll automatically make updates to that smart collection. Alright, I'm going to cancel out of this. All right, one of the cool features I want to show you guys regarding collections is the ability to actually export a collection. This is one of the cool things about uh, the collection system is that when you are working in a catalog, and let's say your collections become really large, maybe you have a catalog that's like all of your 2010 uh, trips to all around the world, all your photo shoots. And let's say one of those, maybe your trip in April to Italy has over 1,500 images. It really deserves its own catalog because it's such a large uh, set of images, uh, such a large collection. Well, what you do is you just right click on that collection 
and you can actually say export this collection as a catalog and what it's going to do is it's going to take those images and it'll export it as a catalog and move all the files create a new catalog and basically just break them out of the current catalog now after you export uh, as a catalog you do need to still remove those images from your current catalog but it's a real easy way of, of breaking off a collection into a completely new catalog when those collections become large enough and the other cool exporting feature I want to show you guys is the exporting and importing of smart collections. And on any smart collection, you can tell by the way which the difference between a collection versus a smart collection because of the icon. So this is a standard collection. The smart collection has like this little cog next to it. So with any of these smart collections, I can actually right click and say export smart collection settings. And what it'll do is it'll, it'll ask me where do you want to save these settings. Well, I'm going to put it on say like the desktop. And we'll save it as the one, of, uh, one bag model sheet, that's fine. Well, at any time I can load up a new catalog and I can right click again on my collections and say import smart collection settings. And it'll bring in the same smart collection uh, that I created from a, one catalog to the next. Now, when is this useful exactly? Well, let's say maybe you create a collection set that helps you in, let's say, applying noise reduction to images that have high ISO settings. So you have a smart collection that looks for images with 800 ISO. 1600 ISO, uh, 3200 ISO, etc. And you use that same thing for different catalogs. Well, I can export that collection as a set and on each catalog I can import as a smart collection. So every single catalog will have those same uh, smart collections. Alright guys, so that pretty much covers everything about collections, so let's move on to the next tutorial.